Hey, good morning. Welcome back in. Well, this weekend, the UAB Blazers will play in their eighth annual Champions for Our Children Children's Harbor football game. It is a chance to recognize, to honor children who are seriously ill, who are going through a very difficult time, but this day makes it so special for them. Former UAB head football coach and major supporter for Children's Harbor, Bill Clark, joins us once again this morning. Coach, good to see you again. Good to see you, Janice. It's been a while. It has been a while. This was important to you. You started this. Um, in 2017 was mm -hmm. the first Children's Harbor game. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean to you still to this day? Oh, it's just, you know, it's, it's such a big deal, you know, and I, I take you back to 17 when we were looking for something to do with Children's Harbor. Mm -hmm. Came up with the idea of putting the former patient's name on the back of the jerseys. Mm -hmm. We did the alternate uniform, which was super cool. Started that first game in 17. Didn't really know how it was going to go. You know, we were playing a really good opponent, La Tech. We had never beaten mm -hmm. uh, in the history of UAB. So to play that game, to get to recognize those patients, to get to meet the patients and former patients, to the families, and then to win the game on that last second field goal block, if you remember that. You know, it's just been so great since then. You and I were just watching the video on my phone because yep. we were at that game, and it really was like a Hollywood script. It looked like they were going to kick the winning field goal. And here we go here now. This is the video here. All right, you're going to see my son <laughs> and nephew here in a second. But I love it. <laughs> but that is what it was. You look at these people. They were so excited. Yep. That, that man right <laughs> there cracks me up. But it was about the children, yep. about that game that made it so important. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. What the work Children's Harbor does, you know, at Lake Martin and here at our hospital, where they're they're a true safe harbor for these families. You know, these families get to go in there. They get, you know, because they can be there for months at the time. Um, but when I talk to our Children's Harbor folks and I hear how important this game, you know, uh, I mean, we've got some maybe even some terminal patients who live to get their name on the back of this jersey. I mean, it, 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 it's heartbreaking, yet it's truly wonderful. Yes. Um, I'm, you know, and I'm appreciative for UAB to keep this game going. Uh, you know, my family foundation, I basically created my own foundation just to support Children's Harbor and support this game and keep it going. So how does it work? I know yep. you sent out letters. Yep. And it has to be paid for. These Correct. jerseys are not cheap. So how did that work? Yeah, so we've been getting donations um, to pay for the jerseys because we in turn give these jerseys to the to the families. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we'll have around 100 names on the back of our players that, you know, and we'll give these jerseys to them after the game. So those jerseys have to be purchased. We purchase the jerseys. We also, Children's Harbor gives a gas card to the family. Oh, wow. uh, they buy the tickets. Mm -hmm. um, they give them money, you know, you know, so we didn't want any money coming out of their pocket. So this money goes directly to them. So what we said this year, I said, everything we raise will pay for the jerseys, the uniforms, and anything left over, we're going to turn and give back. Now, you know, my goal was 25000 this year. Uh, we're probably about halfway there. So we've got, we've got work to do. So, you know, they can donate to, to my family foundation. They can give it to Children's Harbor and just if they want to put for the football game. You know, there's, there's a million ways to give. And I also want to raise awareness for Children's Harbor. And I know that you're, you won't say this about yourself, but you are, are so beloved at UAB still. And is this your way of kind of giving back all that love that you were given? And there's no doubt. I mean, I am a, I'm a Birmingham guy. I'm an Alabama guy. I love this place. I love UAB. And, uh, and I said, no matter where I went, you know, right now I'm, I'm living on the lake and, and life is good. <laughs> but th I'm, you know, this, I'm a part of this family and I'm a part of Birmingham. So there's other things I'm involved in around Birmingham. And, but this is special for me and, will always, and always will be. It's wonderful. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. Any plans to coach again? I'd never say never. I'm pretty happy right now. And I've got my hands in some, some helping some former players of mine, former coaches, so I won't, I won't say never, but I'm, I'm good right now. All right, it's good to see you, Coach good to Bill see you. Clark. Thank you so much. Uh, the game, again, uh, it's just a wonderful game to uh, wear those names of those children on the back of those jerseys. Thanks, Coach. Thank Thanks you. for what you do. Thank you. Now, here's Mick. If you ever want to get back into coaching, my, my Atlanta Falcons could use some help there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm an old Falcons fan. From well, <laughs> so he feels you. <laughs> <laughs> they could 